All right, welcome back to season two of our show. We're busting out some tomahawk steaks and throwing them on the ceramic cooker. So stick around, don't go anywhere. So we got a beautiful set of tomahawk steaks here. They're already nice and cut up and trimmed up. And this fat that's around here, around the bone part, we're gonna leave that. And I could trim this up a little bit more, make it look a little bit prettier, but why? So the first thing we'll do is just start with some salt. This is kosher salt. And we're just gonna salt it real good. It's a big piece of meat, so you wanna get all your sides, even the bone. Because if you're like me, I'll gnaw on it. So get it nice and salted. Might look like a lot of salt, but it's not. It's a big piece of meat. These are four pound steaks. Special butcher cut. I got a good butcher. All right. The back. And that's it. So off to the side these guys go. And before we do that, we're just gonna put a little oil on them. This happens to be olive oil, but you could use whatever oil you want. And all the oil, peanut oil, whatever you have around. It's not gonna make a difference, it's gonna burn off anyway. And just get it nice and oiled up. So these are gonna sit out at room temperature. They're ready to go on the grill. I'll let them sit out at room temperature for about 20 minutes, and then onto the cooker we go with them. So those are off to the side. So now we're going to start with what we're going to base these with. And it's going to be rosemary and garlic. So let's get our rosemary and our garlic over here. Now I have a bowl for some butter. Just place the butter in a bowl. Kind of leave it out at room temperature so you have something to work with. Don't leave it out too long because it's gonna melt on you. So just leave it out at room temperature. And let's get our garlic into our food processor. And our rosemary as well. Now I use a lot of rosemary, I like rosemary. So you can adjust this if you want, nothing is etched in stone here. These are just my recipes, I'm showing you the wheel, and uh, I leave it up to you guys to take control of your own wheel. And with this I go. Now afterwards, we're gonna mix this in with the butter. So you wanna make sure you get a nice chop on this, because you don't want this hanging out of the butter. If it hangs out of the butter, it's gonna hang out on the meat, and you don't want that. So. Get a good amount of that on there. And like I said, you can adjust your flavors as you go. Now that looks about right for me. So I'm gonna probably stop about there. Let's go look around. Maybe a little bit more. I'll just use the whole thing, why not? Don't put your butter inside the chopper because you're gonna make a mess. That's it. Get this in the bowl. Get my hand in there. Get all that nice garlic, rosemary out of there. Get 
just like that. That's basically the only thing you need. Now we're going to put this on the bench and get it mixed up in there. Smoosh the butter around. Now what you're doing is you're making rosemary and garlic butter. And this is what we're going to put on top of our steak as she's cooking. Coming to the end, we'll just put this right onto her steak. Just like that. Just get it mixed in good. And now you have your own rosemary garlic butter to put on there. Now if you mush it like that, you can see the middle of the butter and just get it nice and mixed in. Now I'm going to put this in some plastic wrap, give it a couple of turns, and stick it back in the fridge just to firm up again. This way I can cut it. And that's what we're looking to do. So we'll meet you right back here. And now onto the cooker. We go. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, this is what we're rolling with today. We're breaking in a brand new Kamado grill. We're gonna show you the inside. So this is a ceramic cooker. Nice part about this, it's 100% ceramic. I got adjustments on the top here so I can open this up very wide if I want. Close it. I also have adjustments on the top here. I'm gonna show you the inside of this. This is my fire setup. I have competition coal in here. And I also have little pieces of wood in here as well too. And that's for flavor. That's some cherry there and a little apple on the side. Another vent on the bottom. And we'll show you where we are when we fire up. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, fire's lit. And we're just going to let this stabilize. Got to bring this thing up to about 650 degrees and get them on there. Don't go anywhere. All right, time to get these steaks on. Oh, she is hot. All right, so that's what you want to hear. Right there. All right. I'm gonna close her back up. She's cooking hot. I'm gonna leave my vent wide open on the top and keep them cooking hot. We'll meet you right back here. Three minutes in. Let's see what we're working with. She's looking right. It's funny. These things are so big, they take up most of this grill. So what I'll do is just cross hatch them. Just like that and back down with the lid. I'll leave our vent open. And we'll meet you back. All right, time to flip these. I'm gonna burp this grill, lift it open just a little bit so I don't get an explosion at me. Look at those steaks, good, nice. Go over. Go over with that one. That's what we're looking for. Right there. That's a ceramic. Cook at its best. Let's let these go on this side and then we're going to close her up. Let them sit for about five minutes and pull her. Medium rare. That's what we're aiming for. About 129. 
We'll see you then. All right, let's see what we got going on again. About seven minutes in. Look at those. Beautiful. Let's cross hatch them again. And at this point, what I'll do is I'm just going to shut everything down and let them cook. I'm going to shut the top, I'm going to shut the bottom and get a good smoke on and just let them cook. So right now I'm in putting the fire out. Fire's not going to go out yet, but you can see all the smoke coming from the bottom. It's shutting it down. And that's what you want. You want that smoke to smoke your steaks. So this way they're cooking still, they're not going to be raw in the middle, and you're just finishing them off. And I'll come out in about three minutes, three to five minutes, we'll pull them off. We'll see you then. Don't go anywhere. All right, we're about 11 minutes in. Time to pull these guys. Little burp. Look at all that nice smoke. All right, let's see what we got going on. Now I'm feeling for my medium rare. And I think I'm going to let them hang out just a couple more minutes. Just for medium rare. A little bit more, and then we're going to pull, and we'll meet you inside. Don't go anywhere. All right, once again, we're on Season 2's chopping block with some beautiful steaks. Let's see what we got. Look at those. Now, that nice butter melted in. We put those on this when it came in to rest. So when they were nice and hot, this is what the butter looks like afterwards. We wrapped it up and we put it back in plastic. And we just molded it just like that with our hands. So you could leave this out. People might want that with their bread. And let's get into one of these guys. So I think I'm going to take the biggest one here. And we're going to cut right into this. Look at that. That is beautiful. And we're just going to go right in the middle first just to see where we're at. Look at that. Perfectly medium rare. That is what you're looking for all day long. Now we're going to just put this piece back here and we're going to get a nice pit master slice off this. Why not? Look at that. Beautiful. Let's give that a shot. Wow. Those ceramics are excellent cookers. They're fragile, but they'll never beat a ceramic at its game. That is beautiful. And our cameraman can't wait to get in here and get a piece. And we're gonna show you what this looks like right now on a plate. Let's get this piece. And we're gonna cut them up. So what I'll do is just cut right down here. Just like that. Now this is the, the nice fatty part where all that nice fat is just in there. So you can cut a few different pieces from each end. 
So if you don't want all the fat from the ribeye part, you can have a few more pieces. So we're just gonna cut down some more here. And we're just gonna put that piece right onto the plate, like that. And we have this ribeye piece right here. We'll just cut a couple of pieces. This is where we're mixing them up. And we'll put those pieces in back, just like that. This way you get the best of both worlds right there. Can't go wrong with that. All right, so with this meal, we made some rice. This is olive rice, basmati rice with olives and onions. So you can see the basmati and all the olives and all the onions in here. And the little seeds in there are cumin seeds, which gives a beautiful taste to this rice. So let's get that plated up. Just like that. Now, if you want to see this, just flip over to our other channel, side dishes and more, and you'll see this beautiful rice being made. It's a winner. Okay. We're just gonna put this back down. Let's clean this plate up. And now we have a little tomato and garlic. It's just a little cold salad. Tomato, garlic, cherry tomatoes. A little rice wine vinegar. Just a little rice wine vinegar in here. Just to complement that steak. That's it. Now, we also made another one. Something pretty special here. We made a bean soup to go with our dish. This happens to be one of my favorites. It's tripe bean soup. Again, you can flip over to the other channel, side dishes and more, and you can see this being made. If you never had tripe before, honeycomb tripe, you don't know what you're missing. Here we go. Look at that. Nice little soup on the side. Little bean soup. And there it is. That is a complete plate. Right there. All right, so we're gonna get this cleaned up, situated, and we're gonna meet you back here. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, and there it is. Tomahawk steaks on a ceramic egg with olive rice and tripe bean soup. A little tomato salad on the side, tomato and garlic. And if you like this video and more videos that are about to come, please hit that like button and subscribe and don't forget to hit that little bell this way you get all the notifications. Thank you. We loved having you, and uh, with no further ado, we've got to get that uh, little pitmaster taste there. <laughs>